because pork chops is on the menu at the Young's house and I figured you guys could see what we're having for dinner. We're having fried pork chops. I'm gonna, listen, I'm gonna make some quick and simple baked beans and some macaroni. Here's the ingredients you're gonna need. Pork chops, I always like to use the assorted pork chops. Center cut is not my thing. You're gonna need some good spices to make it taste good. Salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Use some paprika if you want. I have some baked beans here. I'm just gonna use one can. We're gonna use some sugar. We have some cinnamon, barbecue sauce, all right? And we're making up a box of macaroni and cheese. You're gonna need some vegetable oil and some all-purpose flour. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this amazing dinner, Jeannie Young style. Y'all are having a great day today, and if you're not, hopefully I can brighten up your day with this amazing dinner. Jeannie Young style. The first thing we're going to do is put these baked beans together and look how quick we can do it. One can and get your flavor that you love, right? Get in there. Get in there. All right, a little bit of barbecue sauce. Just a little bit. Cinnamon, sugar, and heat. When is the last time you all had some good pork chops? If you haven't, it's about time you get you some pork chops made. So now I wanted to step in real quick and tell you the same recipe that I'll be frying these pork chops. You can put them in the air fryer and it'll turn out the exact way, super juicy and crispy. Have you ever cooked the pork chop and once it hit the hot oil, it kind of rose up in the pan like this versus laying flat? Problem solved. You're gonna take some kitchen shears and right where that beautiful fat is, you're gonna cut like a little slit because what happens during the cooking process is the fat shrinks as it cooks and it makes your pork chop do like that. So if you want it to lay flat, cut a little slit in it. It won't look any different. It's going to cook up beautiful still, but this always works for me. Let's season it. Let's make it taste good. We're going to go right in with some black pepper, just like this. Not afraid to season. If you're afraid to season, your food will be flavorless. I tell you every time. All right, beautiful, there's the black pepper. I'm gonna season both sides of the pork chops. Going in with garlic powder, a nice amount, because I really want that garlic flavor to shine through. Just like this, I'm gonna use some onion powder and salt. Flip it to the other side, same thing. Beauty. We have our noodles in. I plan on cooking these noodles for 11 minutes. Noodles in. I always salt the water to give them some good flavor. The first thing I want to do is show you the amount of oil that I'm going to be using. I can't, when I make fried pork chops, I kind of pan fry them. Uh, there's a lot of people that will deep fry them and that's absolutely fine. I usually use a little bit of oil. Look at that. Enough to coat the pan and kind of I want the oil to come up halfway up the pork chop. That's plenty of oil. And I'm using a vegetable Let's oil. Let's go ahead and take this time to dredge our pork chops. And I love the fact that I let the beautiful spices kind of seep down into our pork chop for at least 10 minutes. It makes it taste better. And also, as your pork chops sit out at room temperature, just for at least 15 minutes and that chill comes off of them, they cook up better, I promise you. Okay, so now we're just going to go in with the all-purpose flour. Use what kind of flour you like, okay? Once you get it nice and coated, just like so, always give it a shake off, just like this. See the excess coming off? Because naturally, when you fry your pork chop, flour will fall to the bottom of the pan. When it falls to the, bin, to the bottom of the pan, it's gonna burn. So you can prevent that by shaking any excess off and your pork chops won't have a burnt flavor. It doesn't have to be the weekend to make a delicious meal like this that's quick and simple to make and everybody's going to love, right? It's going to fill you up. You're going to be super happy that you're having pork chops in the middle of the week and cost effective and super simple to make. Like that's the type of meal that I love to do during a busy week. And I'm sure you all can um, agree with what I'm saying right now. Watch how quickly this meal comes together. Let's make some macaroni. Going right in about two tablespoons of butter. That's how you make it taste good, you know? Add all you gotta do is add this gorgeous cheese, but add some more stuff and make it taste even better. At least that's what I do. All right, beautiful. Our cheese sauce that we all love so much, right? Let's try this little hack. You gotta try it, see if it works. Does it work? Pull it. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. 
Oh, see, it, it ain't working for me like it worked for the lady. Y'all know who I'm talking about? Let me know in the comment section. Because there's still some cheese in there. I'm pulling it and let's take a peek in. That's gorgeous, right? It works, but there's still some extra cheese in there that I can squeeze out. <laughs> I'm always for a good hack, right? Not a good, is that the right word? I'm not, I'm not trying to say that, you two. <laughs> Laugh with me, guys. Chops going into the hot oil. Make sure the oil is hot, but not too hot. Medium, um, medium high is the temperature that I like to cook them on. You cook them up too high, the outside gets too dark. The inside is raw. Board chops is looking good. The whole house smells amazing. I know. I know. I know right now the neighbors are saying, man, what are they cooking now? I can smell it through the window. It sure smells, smells good. Mm. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends what Jeannie Young's doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, I thank you for providing a meal. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus Christ's name. Let that devil know he stands no chance. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer, let's taste. Who's ready for a bite? I am. Pork chops galore. Oh, listen. I should have I really used a butter knife so you could... It's juicy. So you can see how easy it was to cut down into this crispy thing. Take a bite. I'm going in. Mm, 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 mm. The flavors there, my goodness. Mm. Mm. Don't sleep on this recipe. Super simple to make. Your family will love you for this recipe. Enjoy. Mm, mm, mm.